Walker, with 63 manufacturing plants distributed throughout the world and eight engineering technical centers, is one of the largest emission control manufacturers both for the original equipment and for the aftermarket. Thanks to this invaluable advantage, Walker is able to use all this OE experience acquired during the last century, building top-level emission control systems following the most strict environmental regulations for almost all known OE manufacturers for producing top-level products for our AM customers worldwide. In this episode, we're going to talk about the back pressure and its essential role in power output, consumption and engine protection of our vehicles. In order to get a good understanding about this topic, I have prepared for you the following video where you'll be able to learn all about this important design parameter. Modern four-stroke combustion engines are designed to operate within very specific back pressure parameters indicated by the manufacturer. This back pressure value is determined by the force the exhaust gases must exert to overcome the resistance offered by the different internal elements of the exhaust system. It is easy to see that in a conventional exhaust system, the level of back pressure is directly proportional to the amount of gases flowing through it, i.e. when the number of revolutions increases or decreases, so will the exhaust system's level of back pressure. Operating at engine speeds with back pressure values not within the optimum working range brings about a number of problems including increased fuel consumption and loss of engine power. Whether exhaust gas back pressure is too high or too low, a small amount of fuel and air escapes from the engine's combustion chambers, reducing the power produced within the cylinders. This makes the driver push harder on the accelerator to get the same power, hence increasing fuel consumption. Valve opening and closing times are controlled by the camshaft, a metal part designed by the engine manufacturer to operate at a certain level of back pressure. When the engine runs within this range, maximum engine performance is obtained with minimum energy consumption. The most effective way to optimize engine performance and thus lower fuel consumption of the system is to maintain exhaust gas back pressure values as stable as possible at any engine speed. As we have seen in this video, it is thanks to the camshaft that the mixture of air and fuel enters the combustion chamber and allows the complete exit of the burnt exhaust gases towards the exhaust pipe. As the camshaft is the metal part that does not self-regulate, any variation in the back pressure level of the system, produced mainly by using non-homologated parts, will cause problems during the filling process with the air and fuel mixture of the cylinder. This situation will end up reducing the power, increasing the fuel consumption and putting at risk other elements of the engine and the anti-pollution system, such as the catalyst. It is easy to see that camber design for the valve overlap is only valid for a specific back pressure level that is given by the internal design of the emission control system parts. Any variation on the internal design of these elements will lead to two possible situations. The first situation happens when the parts replaced generates higher back pressure than the original equipment design. In this special situation, the time needed to empty the exhaust gases from the combustion chamber is higher due to the effect of the higher back pressure. That means that valve overlap timing will not be enough to empty the combustion chamber from burnt gases before the intake stroke starts. This situation will mix burnt gases with the clean mixture, making the explosion less powerful and slower, allowing part of the gases to escape 
still in fire through the exhaust valve at the exhaust stroke. When this problem happens in our vehicles, it's easy to see because the exhaust manifold shows a characteristic reddish color due to the excessive heating. It is easy to understand that this inflamed fuel that reaches 1840 degrees Celsius will reach first the surface of the catalytic converter, melting it and destroying its function. At the same time, this overheating affects other parts of the engine, such as the exhaust valves that end up melting their valve seats, producing compression problems that are expensive to repair. The other possibility is that the new part has less back pressure than the one designed by original equipment. In this case, the valve overlap timing is excessively long, allowing part of the fresh mixture to escape directly to the exhaust manifold through the exhaust valve. In this situation, the fuel that escapes from the combustion chamber arrives to the catalytic converter surface and there, due to the high temperature of the ceramic core, that in normal driving conditions can be between 500 degrees Celsius and 600 degrees Celsius, it auto-ignites, melting its surface. This situation can take a few days, a few weeks or a few months, depending on the level of back pressure difference compared to original equipment design. In areas of low temperatures, when the engine is cold, normally when we start the engine, fuel condensation occurs when the exhaust gases, containing vaporized fuel, touch the walls of the exhaust pipe. In this case, if the exhaust system is equipped with non-homologated parts that generate negative back pressure, this situation can become a problem, as much more fuel than usual escapes directly to the exhaust. This liquid fuel condenses inside the silencer and if a spark escapes from the combustion chamber, it usually ignites the mixture and produces an explosion that ends up exploding the silencer. As a summary, we can say that independently, if the design back pressure of the replacement part is higher or lower than the one designed by original equipment for this vehicle, the problems that will occur are the same. Those problems are decrease on the power output, malfunction and complete damage of the catalytic converter, increase of fuel consumption and possible expensive damages at other engine parts. The easiest way to avoid all those problems is to order only homologated emission control parts as the ones from Walker. All Walker parts are homologated, therefore we are able to offer in all our emission control parts three years warranty. We are Garage Gurus. Join our community, follow us on social media. Thanks for watching this video. The video description contains all the relevant links. Don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and be notified when we post new content. Also, check out our Garage Gurus online course catalog.